Aloha everybody. Welcome to my first ever live stream in Hawaii. I just said hello in Hawaiian, that's aloha. So aloha everybody. It's Wednesday, May 3rd, 2023. Time right now is 4.50 p.m. Hawaiian time. Temperature right now is 79 Fahrenheit. 20, let me see. 78 Fahrenheit, 25 Celsius. And uh, I am excited to be here right now. This is not my first trip to Hawaii. This is actually my third time, but it's been well over 20 years, I'd say, since I've been here. And uh, I don't really remember much, but this is going to be fun. I'm starting off in the Ala Moana Mall, which is the largest shopping mall in downtown Honolulu, the uh, state capital and largest city in Hawaii. I want to give you a reference to where I am before I go onto the streets. Tamara Britton with $5. Thank you so much, Tamara. Appreciate the support. Thank you very much. Let's see, how do we get out of here now? Uh, Bloomingdale's, Target. You know, I think there's another level down. I was on the, uh, the third floor, so I need to make my way down another set of stairs. Jeff says, what carry are you streaming with? Uh, T-Mobile. I tested all three major services. AT&T was the worst. Verizon was a little bit better, but T-Mobile by far is the best carrier in downtown Honolulu. Yeah, Manny, it's nice and warm here. Ricardo Valencia says it's 10.51 p.m. Eastern time. Yeah, it's uh, six hours behind the east coast of the United States. Kind of an odd uh, time difference, big time difference there. Gina Thomas, thank you so much for $4.99. Appreciate it. Aloha AK. Thank you, Gina. Appreciate you. Thank you so much. Another set of stairs. So, um... It's even stranger for the people who live in Asia or Oceania because I think Tokyo is 18 hours ahead of Hawaii. Even though it's a six hour time difference, it's a whole nother day forward. So that is really strange. Angela says, amazing signal quality from that level. I know, it's like I'm here in a parking garage and T-Mobile's working flawlessly. And I did a little bit of exploring today. T-Mobile worked great everywhere. So I'm sticking with it. Oh, my flight, the flight was very nice. I actually did a video of the flight. Um, it's busy uploading right now, but I have a lot of videos to catch up on. I'm trying not to publish too many videos too quickly or YouTube won't send out notifications right away. All right, so here we are on the street level. This is Ala Moana Boulevard. A big banyan tree. Alan the homie asked if I rented a car there. Uh, not yet. I didn't rent a car yet because... Let me check if I'm going the right way. Maybe I should go the other way. Yeah, let's go this way. This way is going towards Waikiki, which is the tourist area. I didn't rent a car yet because I don't want to um, have it sit and not be used. 
I think the first few days I don't need a car. But it would be very useful to have a vehicle that travels to different parts of the Oahu Island. Joe C says it's night in every state but not Hawaii. Hey, uh, Alaska too. Don't forget about Alaska. Parts of Hawaii and Alaska. I mean, all of Hawaii and parts of Alaska, they share the same time zone. So this is Hawaii. And then definitely recommend circling the island. I think I'd like to do that. To do it on a car though, it's actually very difficult because you can't actually round trip around the entire island. You have to go to the northernmost point and then cut across the center of the island. That's how you can do it by car because the road doesn't exactly connect from the northwest point to the southwest point. So here's a sign for Ala Moana, Hawaii Center. It's actually pretty busy considering it's a small state. Laurie says, wonderful to hear your flight went well. I've been enjoying your Seattle videos as you post them. I'm grateful the weather cooperate you enjoy the area. Yes. I enjoy my t time in the Seattle metro area as well. And it also allowed me to adjust to the jet lag pretty quickly. Instead of flying all the way out here in one shot from New York, I had a bit of time in Seattle to adjust to the time difference. And it wasn't as such of a drastic change coming here. Lauren says, I flew direct from Newark to Honolulu. It was 10 and a half hours in the air. I mean, from Seattle, it was uh, almost six hours from Seattle. Here's Ala Moana Park. Joe C says, you heard lots of Filipinos live here. I heard that too. There's actually a large percentage of Asians that live in Hawaii. Yes, there is a Chinatown Hung Mao. Torito says it's your first time to watch a Hawaii live stream. Well, uh, I guess it's the first for everybody, right? Including me. I've never watched a Hawaii live stream before either. There's the Waikiki trolley, double decker bus. MN says Hanama Bay, go see it. I uh, actually was there a little bit earlier today. So we're crossing over this bridge now. Once we get over, it'll be Waikiki. Roni Akana says, you're here. Yes, I am here. I'm at the US state, which is closest to the equator. Eyeglass Lady, you found one Hawaii YouTuber that did a video of the mall. So he is there. Don't remember the name now without looking it up. Yes, I've uh, looked up some Hawaii videos. And there's a lot of great people who live here, made videos. 
I don't uh, remember the names either. Angela Washington, 999, been there nine times, but not back there since 2009. Loved it there, didn't want to come home. Thanks, Angela. Appreciate the support. It's uh, fairly humid here. It actually reminds me a little bit of Florida with the palm trees and the humidity levels. It's uh, kind of similar to Key West. Okay, so here is the start of Waikiki, folks. This is where most of the hotels are in Oahu, which is the most populous island. Zeus says, does this remind you of Miami? Yes, it does. Seeing palm trees, tall buildings. It does remind me of Miami, but it's different. Miami um, has more of a flat terrain. Hawaii is more mountainous. A, B, C, D one says someone will recognize you soon enough. Poss possibly. I would not doubt that at all. <laughs> Roni says I watch you all the time, but it's not live because of the time difference. I never thought you would come here. Welcome to Hawaii. Why didn't you think I was going to come here eventually? I do notice that Oahu has a fairly extensive bus system. Maybe I can explore that and may not even need a car, I don't know. And uh, this is the first hotel on Waikiki, well, well, from that bridge, the Prince Waikiki, lovely hotel here. KJV, thank you for $9.99. Appreciate the support, KJV. And I just tripped in slow motion over there because I was busy doing some fancy camera work. Luckily, I caught myself. I was kind of looking up, getting distracted. Grammy took a bus line that went around the entire island. Wow, very cool. I think over here is a condo complex. It says Big Surf. Here's the Prince Waikiki. They got a nice lobby. Tony Jazz says, are you having a nice trip? I am. So far I'm uh, exploring it, getting some ideas. Wesley Wu, $10. Aloha from Honolulu. Enjoy your stay here. Hey, Wesley. Glad I made it to Honolulu. Thank you so much. We'll be checking more of Oahu soon. These species of birds I've never seen anywhere else in the U.S. They look very tropical. Denja, it's been a while loving the walk as usual. Yes, thank you. Darren Stone recommends the Duke's Buffet at the Outrigger Waikiki, best buffet on the island. Ooh, maybe I will check that out. Tall32Guy, 499. Hello, sir. Hawaii, awesome. 
Enjoy, I was there when 16, loved it. Check out Diamond Head and USS Arizona Memorial. Yes, some things I have planned, fireworks on Fridays. Awesome. Thanks, tall 32 guy. I actually remember visiting the Pearl Harbor Memorial when I was like 12, 13 years old. That'll be fun to revisit it again. Hey, someone was just saying hi hi from the window of their car. Don't know if they knew me or not, I just wanted to say hi to a random person with a camera. Katie says spam has to be one of the most unhealthy foods you can eat. Yeah, I know. They have it everywhere here. It's spam, musubi, even in 7-Eleven, they have it for like three, four dollars. I've had it before as a kid. It tastes good, but it's a lot of processed meats all together and uh, not really that healthy for you. I think Hawaii is one of the few states where you won't really see that many out-of-state cars. Everyone's license plate is going to be Hawaii, I think. You can't exactly drive to Hawaii, can you? Or maybe you can, maybe someone has an amphibious vehicle that can make the trek across the Pacific Ocean from California or something. Otherwise, they have to get their car shipped over, which I think will be very cost prohibited. Douglas with $5. Aloha AK. Welcome to Oahu, my birthplace indeed. Much alufus. Thank you, Douglas. Let's check out your hometown, see how it is. Plenty of people walking around. This is an all way crossing. Life begins at 40 trucks, says, hope this walk will help me plan out for stuff for me to do if I ever come to visit Hawaii. Yes, I hope it does. So at the next street, uh, I know I'm going to have so much trouble pronouncing the names of these streets. I have a little bit of knowledge on some areas how to pronounce them, but there's a lot of K's and syllables in the Hawaiian language on many of these local places and streets. So uh, forgive me if I pronounce anything wrong, but we're gonna make a right here at the next street to the Hilton Hawaiian Village at the, these palm trees are blocking the name, at the Kanamoku Streets. No, Kahana Moku Street or Kahana Moku Street. There's so many K's. At least I pronounced Ala Moana correctly and not Ala Mona. Janara says, you're in Hawaii now. I am. Hope you enjoy your time in Washington. Too bad I didn't get to meet you. Yeah, I'm, uh, I should have spent some more time in Washington State. I think that would, would have been better. But I think uh, it just lets me know that I have to stay longer for next time. Andrea says, you bounced from Seattle to Vancouver to Honolulu. Hey, Vancouver as well. I was only there for a few hours. I didn't really get to explore it that much. Okay, Kahana Muko Streets. There's no sidewalk here. I guess we gotta go 
across the street here and then go. Angela Washington says, hope you get to visit Koaloa Ranch in Kaneohe. Look at this beautiful sculpture. Kind of looks like a donut with a volcano on top. That's what it reminds me of. The Hilton Hawaiian Village is down this way. Grand Waikikian and Lagoon Tower to the, to the right here. Hopefully we could check out a beach too. Hung Mao brought, says this brings back memories. You stayed here. I hope you enjoy your stay here at the uh, Hawaiian Village. I know it's a big complex of stores and things to do here. So I think this is one of the uh, Hilton's properties, the hotel. Angela says, just watch the news. They know how to pronounce everything. Okay. Nice waterfall here. Outrigger Duke. Kahana Moku Foundation. And I think the, uh, oh, this is horrible. Why don't they extend the sidewalk here? Okay, let me pass. Thank you. I'm glad uh, people are respectful of pedestrians here. At least in this area. There is a lot of traffic in Honolulu, which kind of surprises me a little bit. And here we are. This is the uh, area where all the shops are, the Hilton Hawaiian Village. I think uh, there's some kind of live performance over to the right here. There's a little bit of a line to get in here. Looks like some kind of special event. I see people wearing lays, which is this, which is this thing that this woman is handing out to put on people's heads around their neck. Andy reviews says can smell the sweet Hawaiian bread here and fresh coconut. Oh, nice. Why don't we go this way? Dust Bat Rabbit, $4.99, almost $5 for some Hawaiian action. All right, thanks so much. Thanks for the generosity, appreciate it. It's a nice little cafe here. This is the, uh, can't read or read it, it's at too much of an angle, but. Laurie says maybe a Lao is start, about to start. I don't even know what that is. I need to get brushed up on my Hawaiian terminology. I know aloha means hello, mahalo means thank you. The 
This place is so cool. The Hilton Hawaiian Village. Plenty of things to do. Looks like a tour group here, a Korean tour group. I'll probably get a good tour. CJ's New York style deli and restaurant. So I arrived in Hawaii last night. This was the first ever meal I had in Hawaii, the Blue Water Shrimp Company. It was excellent. I highly recommend this spot. You'll get to see my review of it on Action Kit Extra whenever I release it. Matt Claire, how long was the flight from Seattle? About six hours. There's also this area of the uh, Hawaiian village on the other side. This is a very Asian themed uh, section here. Oh, I see. This is a uh, luau here. Looks like a fire performance. Buy me Cola One, enjoy Hawaii, much mahalo. Thank you, mahalo to you. Thank you in Hawaiian. And this means aloha. Let me do something for you all. Aloha everyone. I made it to Hawaii. First time here on YouTube. Enjoying the sunshine. It says do not sit or stand on the sign, but at least I could touch it. Do something like this, right? It's a nice waterfall there. Let's check it out. Joan says, a cool shot of me. Thank you. Michael says, are you planning to visit the Arizona Memorial at Pearl Harbor? Yes, I should visit it. Wow, how do we get over here? This looks so scenic. Can you see? No, this is my third time visiting Hawaii. I was here in 1997, I think. It's been a long, long time. Oh, private area, no entry beyond this point. But you can get some great pictures anyway, just from here. Uh, 
All right. Uh, Chris, I didn't see any light rail in service here in Hawaii. I think they're working on a public transit system though, a rail system. Hopefully it's installed because there's a lot of traffic here in the uh, downtown area. Hello. Fishy, fishy, fishy. Let's see if I could do something here. Fishy, fishy, fishy. Oh, they know. They know I'm tricking them. They're not coming up to eat fake food. Yeah, those are some huge koi fish, for sure. This is, uh, you can't even read it because the sign is so faded. Manahune King. Looks like there's a Starbucks here. I see the beach up ahead. I think I think that's the beach. Oh wow. I think there's the public park now. All right. Let's go to the beach. Hung Mao says the beach is close to the lagoon. Still trying to figure out my way around here. Robin says Hawaii is my favorite place. Hope you intend to visit Maui and the big island. Enjoy your time there. Yes, we'll see about it. Okay, this is, uh, what's the name of this beach? Hoa Paka? I think this is the first beach in Waikiki. This is such a gorgeous area. Angela says you're going to have a whole lot of places to visit. Hope you're going to be there for a long time. Oh, I'm aware. Whenever I go to a new place, I'm always getting new suggestions where to go and I never really have uh, enough time to go to wherever I want to go completely. just like the Seattle area, Vancouver especially, which was my last live stream. I was there only for a few hours, but I did what I could in those few hours. Wow, we could just walk along this beach the entire way. In a way, this kind of reminds me of the, uh, the beachfront in Santa Monica.
and it kind of resembles to me uh, Pompano Beach in South Florida because they have a grassy section. ZN says this beach is huge. Oh, for sure. <laughs> Hung Mao says this beach is much cleaner than Santa Monica though. Oh, that I could say for sure. I don't know why Santa Monica is so dirty. Dutchman asking if I could see Diamond Head from here. Uh, not yet. There's a lot of tall buildings in the way here in Waikiki. Diamond Head is actually a pretty unique mountain. It's a big circular mountain with a hollow interior. DN says, anyone know the name of this beach? It is Kahana Moku Beach. I just looked it up on Google. You want to see me hike up Diamond Head? Yeah, maybe. I think I'd like to go up Diamond Head Mountain. Bell, this is not Ala Moana Beach. We're uh, pretty close to it though. This is the first beach in Waikiki coming from the west. There's also Waikiki Beach itself, which is further down. Flowing Happy, $10, I mean uh, $20, wow. Hawaii, thanks for your live streams. Thank you so much, Flowing Happy. Really appreciate the support, so generous. Thank you. How's this look like with the sunset behind me? Oh, this is nice. Can I get a palm tree in the background somewhere? Nice selfie view here. Can even get one from up here. The sun's setting in Hawaii. Let me see when the sun sets here. Uh, 6.57 p.m. Honolulu, 77 Fahrenheit. So, pretty soon. Liz says you need to go further west to Waikiki Beach for palm trees in the background. Okay. Then she's, then she doesn't The water is so calm here. What I've heard is that the north shore of Oahu Island has the bigger waves. There you can get like 30, 40 foot waves. That's why a lot of the uh, extreme surfers, they go there. Uh, Darren says diamond head hike is much easier than the hike to the Hollywood sign. Okay. MJ22 live says, can you see a story here from there? Oh no, definitely not. We're in the middle of the Pacific Ocean. A story of Queens for sure we cannot see, but Laurie says that will be incredible to see. Maybe some surfers, possibly. You know, Astoria actually has a sister city in Oregon of all places. But even Oregon, Astoria, Oregon, I guess is somewhere like out of view. We won't be able to find it.
Angela says you'll see Diamond Head momentarily. Oh, it's right there. Look at that. So what people are telling me is that I should hike up there, Diamond Head. I definitely want to do it. I think soon we'll enter Waikiki Beach. So that up ahead is the Diamond Head Mountain. The water is just so close here. Yeah, Jerry, shape of the diamond, that's what I think where diamond head comes from. Let's see the prices for some of these um, rentals. Beach chair. Oh, there's a different price for military and the general public. There's also surf lessons. Wow, a private surf lesson is $149. Group is $99. Surfboard rentals, umbrella rentals. Andrew says the water is crystal clear. Oh, it is. Robert says that's Capio, Capio Lani Park at the base of Diamond Head. Oh, it good. We gotta check it out. When did I get to Hawaii last night? I was going to stream, but I was not feeling it after that flight. It was very long. Bell C says expensive. Hawaii is expensive, but worth it, beautiful. Yeah, the uh, flight to come out here was not cheap at all, as well as the accommodations. And groceries are also very high. I stopped inside a grocery store earlier. A gallon of milk was $10. Bananas were $1.79 a pound. I saw avocados for like $3 each. Eggs were $10 a dozen, so it's not cheap to shop for groceries here. And there was a four pack of toilet paper for, I think, $8. And I can really feel for the people who live here because they call the people who um, need to pay up for these items, they call it the paradise tax. And even uh, Amazon delivery, usually it's free delivery with Amazon Prime throughout the US. Most of the items is $6.99 delivery and it takes a few days to get here. There was a lot of items that I was just curious. I tried to buy something on Amazon. It would take until Saturday to get here and you have to pay for delivery. How's this for a picture, folks?
Rui says there's a small aquarium further ahead. It looks like there's a no more walkway going ahead. You have you have to walk on the sand. Oh, this is a good uh, starting point for us. Wow, this is an overview of the entire Oahu Island. So we're right here now. This is just where I walked. Waikiki, which is the main tourist area. There's uh, this place, Sea Life Park. Kailua, this area. Kanaohe. Uh, I know Hanama Bay is over here, which is really nice. Uh, Diamond Head, which we just saw, the big mountain. There's a, a temple, Chinaman's hat, that's kind of cool. Uh, Hukulau Marketplace, Kahu Ku, Sunset Beach, Pipeline Beach, Wamea Bay. This is the North Shore, this is where all the uh, high surface, some snorkeling here. Uh, Makaha or Makaha, and uh, Kapole, Coral Crater Adventure Park. And I think the uh, Dole Plantation, yeah, it's over here in the center of the island because they're known for growing pineapples here in Hawaii. I'm gonna let this guy on the bike go up ahead a little bit because he's playing music. CAC 813 says the pineapple is great in Hawaii. Oh, I've tasted a slice already at the place I ate yesterday. It wasn't enough though. I'm definitely gonna have a real pineapple when I get an opportunity. Arctic Cold Front says you found your new home action kit. Well, I don't know about that. I'm just here visiting right now. Uh, MN says I regret not buying that avocado in Chinatown when I was there. Yeah, I mean, uh, I've heard Chinatown is actually a good place to get groceries. I was actually looking at grocery prices earlier, like I said, but you know where I settled for? I actually uh, got delivery from Whole Foods and Whole Foods was, a lot of people think that Whole Foods is overpriced and they has that stigma of Whole Foods equals whole paycheck. But I was able to save a couple of dollars getting a Whole Foods delivery than shopping at Safeway. I think I got eggs for like $5 a dozen instead of $10. And I got uh, some almond milk for $4 and change instead of the $10 a gallon of milk at Safeway. So if you're in Hawaii, check out Whole Foods grocery delivery because it was worth paying the $10 delivery fee to save some money. Stephanie says, if you have Amazon Prime, they deliver free to Hawaii, just not as fast. Uh, some items they do, but for the most part, I see a lot of items, they have a delivery charge added onto it, $6.99, because they have to ship it from the uh, continental US. Hello. So this is, 
Kalia Road. I think this is the main street of Waikiki. Laurie says, thank you for that tip. Yeah, I've heard um, people also shop at Costco. Costco is a good way to save money in Hawaii, but of course you have to buy bulk. It doesn't make sense to buy items in bulk if you're not going to use them all. Beach Walk Cafe. Let me just make sure I'm on the right path here. You can tell I'm in the middle of the Pacific Ocean here. Zoom in, zoom in, zoom in, zoom in. Wow, come on. Wow, it's a lot of zooming in. Uh, actually, it looks like, oh, we should go this way. Beach walk to Kala Kawa Avenue. That's the main street here. It's kind of windy today. Mom Food Planet thing says, I enjoyed your Costco video. Those muffins look so good. Yeah, it was uh, very convenient for me to go there to pick up some muffins. Hi, how are you? Yeah, the muffins were great at that Kirkland Costco in Washington. And then the toilet paper as well. There's the Embassy Suites by Hilton. Uh, Scott Briggs says, any koi? Is that a local food? I'm not familiar with it. There's a Honolulu cookie. Hmm. I got to jot all these down in my memory. There's also the buffet place that someone recommended here. How's Henry's place across the street? Looks like a small convenience store. And then there's Waikiki Tea. Oh really, all Sly Girl? Poi is an iconic dish there. I'll have to check it out. As I said, I haven't really looked into Hawaiian terms or even local foods. It's a Hawaiian dessert, very cool. Stephanie Stern says, Costco gas if you're renting a car. Yes, big tip there. Gasoline here is expensive. I was checking out some gas stations and it was about $4.80 a pound or so. I mean, a pound. What am I thinking of, salmon? $4.80 a gallon. I don't know how much Costco charges, but I know for a fact it was less money in the Seattle area. That's where I filled up most of my gas before I returned the rental car. Angela says, poi tastes awful, personal opinion. I mean, I'll check it out. ABC stores. You can buy one of these Lay's for $1.99 and some showy dresses if you want. All right, I see the main avenue up ahead, Kalakaua Avenue. Andrew says Hawaiian shirt, yeah. 
very flowery and a lot of colors. That's what I think of when I think of a Hawaiian shirt. So this is a big, big shopping area here in Waikiki. You're gonna have all your brands here. Hawaiian beach and fashion here. Clothing store. And there's a lot more stuff down this way. Kula Goddess 808, is this your first trip to Hawaii? Uh, my first trip to Hawaii and making YouTube videos, but not my first trip here. This is my third trip. But I was here when I was so young that I don't even remember much. I just know like some of the major places I went to that were very memorable to me. As a child, I went to the Pearl Harbor area, the USS Arizona Memorial. I went to Waikiki Beach, Hanama Bay, but there's a lot that's changed here. And to be honest, I don't even know what's changed. There was a uh, favorite, there was a good yogurt place somewhere that I don't think is around anymore. I remember going to it all the time as a kid. Yep, this is definitely Shopping Central. There's Louis Witten. Or if you want to say it the correct way, it's Louis Vuitton. Tiffany & Co. across the street. Oh, there's a chain place, P.F. Chang's. Uh, turn right and go to the honey shop. There's a honey shop over here. Maybe I could check it out just a little bit. I don't want to stray too far away from the main avenue. Looks like there's some stuff down here too. Dutchman says Beverly Hills of Honolulu. It sure looks that way. Here's P.F. Chang's. Hawaiian Center. Wow, there's another shopping mall here. There's also tons of people this way too. Hi, Hi how are you? Hakulani, Hilton Gardens. Vacation club. Wow, just this is all down this street. Wow. Starbucks coffee. You know what? I don't think I'm going to go on Kala Kala Avenue because that's a lot of shopping. There's some shopping here too, but this is kind of cool. Waikiki Beach Walk. So there's a combination hotel and shopping center. <laughs> Sicilian cuisine, Tower Mina. Test text says no loud cars uh, screaming <laughs> with loud pipes. Yeah, that I haven't seen yet or really experienced much.
Mona Surf Rider is a beautiful historic property, has a wonderful beachside bar, it says raw green tea, huh? Cafe Glance, hello. Coffee, crepes, Giovanni Pastrami, New York style deli and pizzeria and sports bar. Where's this honey shop that someone told me to go to and visit? I don't see it, but. Honolulu Cookie Company. I guess this is a uh, chain in Hawaii. Honolulu Cookie. Let's take a look here. Wow, I was sad that they didn't have any samples, but then I saw the other side. They're giving out entire cookies, one per customer. Well, since this place was hyped up so much, let's do a review of it here on live stream. What's the hype with this place? It's a pineapple shaped cookie, but does it taste just like a regular cookie? Is this some kind of special thing? Is that, am I going to be in Nirvana after eating it? I don't know. Honolulu Cookie Company. I don't eat that, but if you want to... Free sample, entire cookie. Okay, uh... Let me open it without it dropping on the ground. Okay. So should I eat the chocolate side first or the gram side? Or both? Maybe I'll try the gram slice side first. This is interesting, to say the least. Um, it has a, hmm, kind of like a musty flavor. Um, I could taste a little bit of butter. Kind of, a, it's very powdery, like it falls apart very easily. It doesn't mean that it's bad, but Got to taste it again. Kind of tastes like a cappuccino kind of flavor a little bit. Hmm. <coughs> Let's try the uh, chocolate side now.
Oh, this side is better. Oh, a lot of chocolate flavor here. Um, it's a mix between a light and a dark chocolate. Very good. It definitely tastes better with this uh, shortbread or the graham. Very good. Um, now, for the final verdict, we got to eat the cookie whole in one piece, and then I'll give you the verdict with both sides combined. Mm. I don't even know what flavor that was, but I don't know. It's kind of like a cappuccino kind of flavor, chocolate. I would say I wouldn't go crazy for these cookies. They're definitely good. Uh, yeah, they're good cookies. That's all I can say. Two thumbs up. I wouldn't go out of my way for them. I think it's uh, there's better cookies that you can get. This is kind of kind of crumbles apart too easily, I think. So you don't really uh, get all the flavors that you should from your mouth, but it's good. I don't really prefer this kind of a style of a cookie, but. I like ones that stay apart easier. Hung Mao says they crumble because they're fresh. Oh, okay. Now I'm thirsty. <coughs> oh, the crumbs are getting in my throat. <laughs> I need, definitely need some water. Laurie says, looks like a great place to come back to. Yeah, it should. This uh, ABC stores I see everywhere. I think there's the convenience store of Honolulu. Crazy, it says, I have no respect for free stuff. He's spoiled, rotten. What made you come to that conclusion? I gave it a good review. How did, was I disrespectful? I don't see how. I just said it's not my style of a cookie. I prefer to come together more, that's all. You may enjoy that kind of a cookie. Hippie 1050 loves the palm trees. Yes, I love it too. Public beach to the right. Let's go check it out. Hale, Ko Hale Kolani. That's the name of this place. Oh, Laura, you love the, uh, your mother loved the macadamia nuts here. That's cool. I can't believe how much stuff there is to see here, just in Waikiki. I'm definitely gonna have to come back here. Happy hour. 
Outrigger Reef Waikiki Beach Resort. And this has come back with a million dollars. Believe it or not, you can go to Hawaii on a budget. You just have to know how to uh, look for deals and spend your money wisely. Like I already told you one of the ways, I got inexpensive groceries with a Whole Foods delivery rather than shopping at Safeway for overpriced uh, eggs, milk, and the like of that. Oh, we're back here again. You know what? I think I like to go back here again. Walk along the beach. Go back to uh, Ala Moana maybe. That would be cool. Because now it's going to be sunset time. Katie says Whole Foods is cheaper than Safeway. Yeah, believe it or not, it's true. Whole Foods was cheaper than Safeway here in Hawaii. One of the travel hacks I like to do is uh, I try not to eat breakfast out. I can have simple breakfast where I'm staying. Just cooking up some eggs doesn't take up that much time. Having some uh, bread. And I save a lot of the meals for uh, lunch and dinner. Sometimes I even skip out on breakfast. Katie says that's smart. It's a smart thing to do. And often healthier too. You oftentimes don't need a heavy breakfast like a lot of these restaurants offer. My Holy King says, cook your own breakfast. You don't even have to cook your own breakfast. You can get breakfast that's already prepared. Buy some muffins or some bread, put some spread on it like peanut butter and you could even do that. Or what I like to do too is eat some fruit. Apples, oranges. Yeah, Dwart 55 says some hotels include breakfast, but usually they'll uh, mark up their room rates too, so it's not really free if you think of it that way. All right, we are going to be walking towards the sunset now. I enjoyed this area so much I came back. This is so gorgeous. Abdullah says, nice choice. Yeah, I'd like to make my way back to the Ala Moana Mall. Stylish Bunny says, now I want to go to Hawaii. It's actually a good time to go because I figured this is a good time to go because right after Memorial Day, the prices for airlines and hotels will go way up for Hawaii. So going at the end of April, beginning of May is a good way to save money to a lot of these destinations. Life begins at 40 trucks, says it's better to fly to Hawaii or take a cruise. Me personally, I want to get to a destination as quick as I can and not be on a boat. 
So flying is the way to go. Laurie says the turquoise waters are very pretty. Oh, this is so stunning to come here. The sun is setting right on the beach here. Look, even the dog went swimming. Wow. I wish I could dry off that fast. Very talented dog. That's the dog I want to uh, save my life in the ocean when I start drowning. Time to wake up says the best way to save money traveling is to go to places in the months they have the least tourists. That's how I plan my vacations. That's a good tip. Travel during the off season, but sometimes traveling during peak season is good too. It's not always about saving money, you have to enjoy it too. Rudy says if you look closely, you'll see fish in the water. Oh, yeah. Probably can. Is it windy by the water? Just a slight breeze now. It was a lot windier earlier on. Light Up says early morning walks are so beautiful in Hawaii. I'm going to try it one day for sure. Christian says sun is huge. Yeah, it is. It's going down. Rochelle says the Hale Koa Hotel coming up on my right. Or Hale Koa Hotel.
It's a nice place to ride a bike too. Someone's flying a drone there. Oh yeah, Rochelle, Holly Koa is a military hotel. I think I heard that. I don't think it's completely closed off to the general public though. says these flowering trees are so beautiful oh absolutely there's tons of nice um, plant life here lots of plants that I don't see elsewhere I didn't go down this way yet, I think. Yeah, I came down this way, but let me see where this goes. James Mercado, where is more expensive, NYC or Honolulu? I am actually going to use a website to show that calculation because I'm actually curious myself. Uh, let's do Honolulu. Honolulu, Hawaii. Compare with New York. Here you go. You will need about $7,623.80 in Honolulu to maintain the same standard of life that you can have with 9200 in New York. And these are all the differences. You can read it. Grocery prices are higher. Restaurant prices are lower. Rent prices are lower. Consumer prices, including rent, are lower. Consumer prices are higher without rent. So this really breaks it down in detail.
you can see just how much more expensive groceries are here. Look, a loaf of bread is $6 compared to $4 in New York. Bananas, $1.99. Transportation's more expensive. So this really breaks it down. This website is numbeo.com. So that's the website you want to go to if you want to compare cost of living between cities. N-U-M-B-E-O.com. The swimming pool over there. Where are you going? Run on location with $9.99. Thank you so much. Aloha looks great. Thanks, Ron. Aloha to you as well here in Hawaii. How much more does this speech go around? Maybe we could walk all the way around to Ala Moana. Dwart 55, $7 Canadian. Aloha, aloha to you too. Thanks so much. Rochelle says, keep going, you'll see a lagoon. Oh, we didn't see this. We gotta see this lagoon, I missed it. Whoa. Now this is cool. Whaler says you'll still need to walk over the same bridge to Ala Moana. This is the Hilton Lagoon. We're going to pass by that function that we saw when they were inviting people in. They are playing copyright music though, so I'm going to have to replace the audio with my own music. Let's see what I want to put on. How about this one? Now I'm on the front, call the shots, make the deal. 
know the deal, know what's up Too much for the books, then I put it in a tuck Too much for the tuck, then I give it to my love Once I make a million, man, a mill won't be enough Watch me fake the struggle while I get it off the hush Now it's jet blue miles, Rolex dials Frowns turn to smiles, summertime and then wow Now we've come to an end This is such a nice, relaxing area to walk around, to go around this whole lagoon. Joan Ham says, thanks for this cool trip to Hawaii. You're welcome. I'm glad I'm here showing it all to you. I wonder if there's a way for me to cross over here. Hung Mao says it was nice to walk here before dawn. I may have to do that too. Is there a shortcut here? Nope. Doesn't look like it.
Wow, what a gorgeous walk tonight. Hope you enjoy yeah. those tunes. I think I'm pretty close to Ala Moana Boulevard now and the bridge back over there. Tamila says, you mean to tell me there's this much copyright music being played? Yeah, that uh, function over there by the lagoon, they were playing some songs at a high volume. I don't know if it was copyright or not, but I'd rather just use my own music and not even chance it. Why take the risk? They're playing music so I can play my own. I think we could just walk through here. Yeah, this is a uh, private area down this way. This will probably go back to Ala Moana Boulevard. I love these little uh, fire torches they have. Uh, looks like we're walking through a hotel now. I don't think there's any way out of here other than walking through the lobby of this hotel. Oh, Rochelle says there's a elevator ahead, escalator I mean. Oh, I think I see it, yeah. We go through here. This is... ...says Hula Goddess 808. There might be some more stuff down that way. Oh, there's the bridge down that way. Perfect. Leonard Jones, thank you for the $2 super chat. Appreciate it very much. Thanks, Leonard. If I don't want to uh, walk over, there's also buses too. Not exactly sure where all these bus routes go, but Google Maps I hope is accurate. Oh, one question I have for people who have visited or who live here, how does the bus uh, fare work? Do they accept uh, contactless payment cards or Apple Pay? Or do you have to pay with uh, singles and quarters or coins or maybe you have to use their transit card which I don't think so because I don't see any uh, refilling stations here for a transit card uh, Hong Mao asks how much does Uber cost I actually took it from the airport to downtown Waikiki and it wasn't really that expensive. It was about $25 with the tip included. 
Chanel says you need a hollow card. Oh no. So I need to get a, a fair, fair card. I don't even know where to purchase it. A convenience store? Like uh, ABC maybe across the street? Chanel says you add money to the hollow card on their website. Oh, okay. But I guess to purchase one, you gotta go into a convenience store or Long's uh, Pharmacy. I've seen them around too. I'll have to look into it. Because I will be interested in taking a bus to different places rather than driving around. Hula Goddess says you get them at 7-Eleven. Oh, thanks for that. Yet another thing that I dread when I travel is having yet another fare card. I already have so many. I think my stack of uh, transit cards from cities and places that I've traveled with must be like this thick already. It's unbelievable. Are these, uh, do these cost money to ride as well? Abdullah says that's not that expensive in Hawaii. Okay. Whaler says, I haven't ridden the public transportation in years, but I still believe they accept, you still believe they accept cash. Okay. Yeah, I'll look into it. I really don't like to be fumbling for cash when I'm riding a transit system though. It's very slow and a old way of paying for a fare. I like the transit systems where you can just go on and tap your phone or a credit card or something and you could pay it easy. I don't like getting a specific transit card for a city and then having to load money on it. That's that works, but I have such a big collection of old transit cards now. Prince Waikiki. All right, here's the bridge for Ala Moana Boulevard. And Ala Moana Shopping Mall is not too far away from here. Kung <laughs> Mao says, like collecting stamps or coins. Hey, one uh, transit car that I'm glad not to have added to my collection is the Seattle card. I could have gotten one, but I was like, I'm tired of collecting these transit cards. I'd rather buy a single use ticket. Angela says you can always give the car away to someone when you leave. No, I keep them because I uh, visit cities often or revisit cities often, so you never know when I'm gonna be in a place. Meanwhile, it's just stuck in a drawer until it's ready to be used again. I think I may consider doing a video on all my transit cards.
<laughs> Hung Mao says, you should, it'll be cool to see. Yeah, when I get them all organized, I think I will. I could say, hey, I really wanted to not buy these transit cars, but because they're the only option available in the city or because it's less expensive to pay for a ride using them, I was forced to get these transit cars and show off my whole collection. Maybe it will be a PSA for these cities to stop issuing their own specific transit cars and have just a simple option to, uh, to take a credit card or Apple Pay. There is the Ala Moana Mall across the street. Geshmak says, good to see you again. Hope you're enjoying your time in Hawaii. I really am. Push button for walk signal. That's a weird beeping noise it makes. What's all? It's funny the chime gets longer or shorter depending on how quickly or how long you hold the button. I have fun with these uh, crosswalk buttons, whether they talk or not. I think we're gonna have to press another one to cross over. Oh no, this one goes the other side. Oh wait, there's another one here. Here we go. <laughs> Come on, change already. Stop being so car centric. Panda Bear says like a little song. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> and we're waiting, we're waiting. No cars are moving, no people are moving. What's going on? Left turn now. I think that's good luck. We're changing the light now. Yeah. All right. We still haven't crossed the street, folks. I still have to cross over one more time over here. This is pretty ridiculous. Does this one sit beep? 
This one's silent now. Come on. Honolulu, fix this. One beep was very silent. Another one was a normal volume, and this one doesn't beep at all. Yes, Schmack, 10 bucks for a few bus fares. Yes, thank you. Still gonna have to figure out the bus fare system. I gotta get a hollow card and load it from 7 uh, Eleven. That's how it works, I guess. Oh, and you know what the bus system here is called in Hawaii and Honolulu? It's literally called the bus. They have it stamped on the side of the bus. It says the bus. Here, I'm going to show you. The bus. <laughs> it's kind of blurry because uh, it was going by so quickly. Maybe if you freeze frame it, you'll see uh, the words on the side of the bus there. Oh, it's called the holo card, not the hollow card. For Honolulu, I guess. All right, we are going to walk inside the mall again at Macy's. And where is Macy's here? We got to go through a parking lot to get there, I guess. Dun dun dun. Uh, free parking all around this mall, by the way. Where's Macy's? They had a big sign. Just looks like a big parking lot to me. Do we have to walk all the way in for Macy's? Uh, I am lost. I am lost. Pedestrian walkway. Uh, looks like there's another road up there. Where in the world is the shopping mall? Lost in a parking lot. Up the stairs. Some viewers are telling me to go upstairs. There's not even any directions or anything. This is pretty horrible. There's a big sign that says Macy's. I'm trying to look for Macy's. There's nothing here that says go upstairs for Macy's or the mall. I'm just walking straight like. Oh, here it is. Oh my goodness. Come on. Come on. People are gonna just be wandering around the parking lot all day. They gotta have a sign or something. All right. Well, I'm here in Macy's and I'm going to uh, end my live stream here. Definitely gonna get something to uh, drink because I'm thirsty. And I'll uh, come back to you in Hawaii another time. Appreciate all of you coming out to watch my first ever live stream in Honolulu, Hawaii. Not going to be my last. Appreciate it. Aloha everyone for watching. Mahalo. It means hello and thank you. Subscribe if you haven't already to the channel. Hit that like button and I will see you next time. Bye folks.